Yo, what's going on guys? Elemental Gaming here, back with you for another video, and in today's video, we're going to be reacting to the brand new Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta animations on Dogon Battle. And afterwards, we will go look at the info and see what they do, see how good they are, and we'll like, have our thoughts to what we think about them. Before we get into the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and put the post notifications on. We are trying to make it to 1k subscribers by the end of the year, guys. And let's watch these super decks. Bruh. Okay guys, so here we go. We're going to take a look at the animations first, and then after, like we said, we're going to go make sh and make sure we have the info ready, and then we'll show you guys the info for the units. Yep. And, okay, let's scroll down here. Um, oh, there's a new unit. Okay, let's, let's start with that. That's a Alright. Solar Flare, 100 times. Here's the, oh, let's see. Wait, they, so they start as Super Saiyan Blue. Well, they, yeah, they look like they do, yeah. Super Saiyan Blue. Oh, whoa. These close-ups. That's sick. That would be nice. That looks like a T-U-R. That's the funny thing. Ooh. They're transforming. Yeah, yeah they are transforming. They're active still. Bro, that looks so good. Holy, oh my gosh, yo, the uh, what is it, yo, the OST though, the OST sounded great, honestly. Okay, so wait, wait, you wanna play that again? Cause I wanna, uh, I wanna um try to figure out what was like their 18k, what was their 12k? Yeah. Okay. And like, are they transforming? Are they, or is that like? So it looks like their transformation is like. Is it, is it an active? I'm thinking, okay, let me see, let's see. Cause this looks like a T-U-R. Yeah. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe they just put the card there, so it could be the LR still, I don't know. Or maybe they really just made two different super packs for the T-U-R as well. Like, that could be... Well, you know, imagine if it wasn't an LR, but it's this one. Well, After still transforming, though. Yeah. Alright, their yeah. OST sounds nice. It is some it just sounds pretty nice. I still can't tell what actually. They they definitely are an LR, but like I can't I haven't like they are the, too, huh? it's, it's, they have like a they they had, I'm pretty sure the first attack is a 12 game guessing, but yeah, yeah um, I'm assuming. Um it I, I, I gotta see how they, um, what their info is. I gotta see their info. Wait, oh, wait, what? There's more? There's more. Okay. This is a free-to-play unit. It's probably free-to-play. Yeah, there's no rules in the game, right? Like, no. like, yeah, 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 I think there's a like, free-to-play unit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Nice. Yes, is Kakunzo? Kakunzo, I'm guessing? Yeah, okay. So, I mean, Rosie and Kakunzo. Yeah, these are definitely free-to-play, probably. Alright, that's cool. They have pretty good super attacks for free to play units. Yeah. If that's the case, if they are, I'm pretty sure they are though. At least we got a new unit with a Krillin. That's nice. Yeah, we got a new Krillin. I mean, yeah. the super attacks weren't everything. All right, so there's info. So yeah, they are they're in LR. LR. They're okay. physical. Okay. All right. Um, they raise attack and defense for one turn. I, f I think maybe greatly raise. We'll see. We, we have to look at the in, in translations and info. So yeah, we um. We can go, we can be back with you guys when we see the info for them, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be back with you guys. 
uh, once we get the info for the units. Um, okay, so we have the uh, translations now on screen. Um, okay, so let's take a look at these. So, you know, we already know LR, Super Saiyan God Goku Kaioken, and Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue Goku Kaioken, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta, um, surpassing endless power. And that's their name. Uh, their leader skill with a new category All Out or Join Forces, keep plus 3 HP and attack and defense, plus 150%. Okay. Uh, their 12 key is uh, Destructo Disc and Gallic Gun greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. Right, and that's, a, that, that's a good effect. The lowers attack too. Yeah, that's a pretty good effect. Oh, yeah. um, we don't gotta worry about the quotes exactly. The 18 key, uh, Kamiomiha and Final Flash greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and lowers attack and defense. That's just the better version of the first one. Okay. Um, the passive. Irregular cooperation. Attack and defense was 70%. Gain an additional attack and defense was 7% per key sphere. Okay. Gain critical hit chance plus 7% and key plus 2 and perform an additional attack up to 3 times in a turn. Per, per rainbow, rainbow key sphere. sphere. Okay. That's so long. Yo, so you're telling me if you get three rainbow keys, they're gonna do three supers. Yeah, okay. Oh. Dang. Crap. That's yo, if you haven't if you compare them with uh yeah, on pure saints, if you compare them with like uh spear bombs or Goku, yeah. you get a bunch of rainbow keys. You get like a bunch of rainbow keys You can you they'll be supering and we'll 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 have to see like how they'll actually hit, how hard they'll hit. Mm -hmm. From this hit. thing, it doesn't look like they're gonna hit as hard, though. I'm just, like, I mean, let's. I guess we can get them a lot of orbs, because, like, 70% is um, around the point, like, okay, the, the blue fusions, the tippy top of the game right now, LRU at Goku, they all have, like, that 77% I think. Yeah. They get two 77% buffs. Yeah. So, for them to get up to that, they'd have to get, um, they'd have to get 11 key speeds. 11, yeah, that's a lot. No, no, not 11, they need, like, 12. They need 12 key spheres to have the same power as them, like, fully built up. So, like, to the point where they could hit, like, 6 mil, like, that that tremendous amount of numbers. Yeah. So, like, that's a lot of key spheres. The only thing that sucks about them is that they don't change key spheres. Unless that new Krillin is, and they're good for, like, um, Re Reps of Universe 7, which would be nice. Anyway, I still think they're going to be really good, because... Yeah, I mean, because e even though they don't have the highest attack, they can do three supers in a turn. Yeah, like that's um, amazing. And then they have a, you can gain the critical hit chance too, depending on, um, per rainbow sphere, so they can hit a crit. Maybe. So wait, their active skill? Their active skill, uh, full spirit, full body release. I'm uh, assuming that's just the transmute. Yeah. Condition is you have to use it when 50 HP is 50 percent or below. And it gives you one turn of 24 key and attack plus 70, defense minus, minus 50. 50. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So it's like almost like an LR tech goalie with the 24 key. Um, okay, so. But wait, the minus 50. Defense. What I'm wondering, though, because, okay, you see what the active circle kind of looks like? Like, their super attacks, the way they did it was so weird, because it's like, is the active skill like a thing one turn, like you're transformed for one turn? Because that's yeah. the case, then what's their ATP, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm I, not I, sure. I can't. I, I can't tell because like the coming on Final Flash is definitely when they're already transformed. Like, yeah, that's a transform super, and the Destructor Disc and Gallop Gun that was um, not transformed. Yeah. If that's their 18 key, I mean 12 key, and then the coming on Final Flash 18 key. I don't. It, I can't. It's confusing. I'm not sure. Um. Okay. So their links, Super Saiyan, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, Tournament Power, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. They're pretty much expected. Um, their categories, All Out, Reps of Universe 7, Universal Survival Saga, Vama Gods, Pure Saiyans, Join Forces, Full Power, and Kamehameha. So you, they look like those. You know, awesome. why does All Out just seem like a, a, a kind of like a very similar to um, Full Power? Yeah. Going all out, you're going full power. It's like seems like kind of the same thing. Like I'm kind of, I'm confused at what the categories. Are. I, I'm assuming um, all out is gonna be a, a little more uh, 
it's gonna be like there's gonna be less units on there, I feel like, because a lot of the time Saiyans, like Vegito and Gogeta, they don't ever go that's why they're not on full power. Yeah. I don't know if they're gonna be an all out either, because like they, they or like people like um who's among full power? Like maybe like these bullies, I don't know. That are yeah, on full power might not be on all out. Maybe someone like maybe Gogeta and Vegito might go all out, I don't know. You could, maybe they can be considered all out. I'm not sure though. Like, I, yeah. Do they ever go all out? Maybe they could. Maybe they're considered all out, but they're not considered full power. Yeah, maybe because they're not on full power. They're never. Those fusions never go full power. Like they're never at full power. They, they, they're that cocky that they just never go full power, and they feel like they can beat you without it, and they do. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe they'll be on all out. Maybe all out's more lenient. So there's gonna, like people that should be on full power might be on all out instead. But that just makes all out just like better. Kind of. Yeah. With full power has a better leader skill, but all of us like a better character. But I mean they they lead join forces. Yeah. And we needed this for a long time. I did, like the only one other than that is like Cam Filippo. Cam Filippo and L R. Yeah, L R. Yamcha is really good. So yeah. this is good. Yeah. Um. So yeah, these this character they look like they're gonna be pretty good. They're not gonna be like the best units in the game. I can tell that. But uh, I mean they could definitely be up there. I don't think they're. They're as good as like, yeah, you know, so you feel like um, it depends on how people want to put it. Like blue fusions, you like go through. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You put them. Um, it's safe. They're in that tier. This, I feel like, in certain situations, could be in that tier. I think they could because with the critical chance and the additional supers. In the end, they're probably going to be doing like the same amount of damage. Oh, and, and their defense is going to be pretty similar. We could also look. Um, their stats. Their that's st stats. Um, no him. That's no him potential. And they're like sixteen thousand, around ten k. All right. So they're gonna go up like, I don't know, like what? They go 3, up like thousand ish, right? They go up three, like oh. Is like, it three thousand or five thousand? I'm I'm always bad with them. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> if, if, it's it's like, if it's five thousand, they go up. That's a lot. They're gonna go up to like twenty one thousand attack. That's a that's a lot. If it's three thousand, like they go up to nineteen. 19. There's it's still a lot. It's still yeah, pretty it's nice. Still good. Yeah. It, I hope it is 21 at 1,000 because, um, because of their like passive, I, I want them to hit as hard as possible, with, and then I want their defense stat to be high because their defense stat looks like it, it can be high because it's almost 10k and 1, there's no hit potential yeah. added, yeah. so I feel like their defense stat could be pretty high. I, I feel like it could be. Yeah. So they look good. They look um, good. They they definitely do look good. I don't know where I put them like. Just based off, in, it's somewhere. You, so it's a unit that you have to see. I have to look at them. Yeah. Because it's kind of hard to base off of. But. If I was gonna put them in a tier, like I don't know if they're on the. They could easily be on the tier. If you like look through in the blue fusions. I'm actually not sure because it's like you think about the damage. It might not be the highest, but if you get the orbs, their damage is gonna be really good. But and then plus they have the additional, so it's like kind of crazy. Yeah. And then they they keep greatly raising their attack and um attack and defense. So on each super, they're just getting like higher numbers. Yeah. At least for that one turn. Yeah. So if they, yeah, if they're definitely like triple supering every turn, Which and they're greatly raising hard. attack like, and, and defense, we gotta remember it. And defense. Yeah, yeah, and defense. Getting an additional, um, getting rainbow orbs, like it's not that bad. Um, like, you can get one, maybe two rainbow orbs in a, um, like actually like it's relatable. Yeah. So yeah. Three is sometimes hard, but it's not always that hard. Like it, if you haven't paired up with the right units, like if you're doing wait, a show, wait, 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 they did put them on your team, right? Yeah, yeah, they okay, are yeah. so yeah, you, you should be able to. Um, be fine yeah, I think you can do that pretty easily. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to leave a like, like I said, um, subscribe, and put the post notifications on. Uh, trying to hit 1K, like we always say in our videos, we're trying to hit 1K by the end of the year. Help us reach our goal, and uh, peace.